love the whistle of that butcher bird. Welcome to this tutorial. My son James bought this on the net for his Mazda race car. It's designed to go in a window and um, duck cold air in. He suggested that I take a mould of it. But rather than risk damaging it because it's clear, I'm going to use this as a guide and I'm going to sculpt my own one of these out of timber and then copy it. You could use the techniques that I'm about to show you to make a vent of any shape. I cut a piece of PVC pipe to match the neck on the vent. Next step is to trace the outline on a piece of ply. I've cut out my baseboard from ply and just nailed it to a piece of 3B2 scrap to keep it up off the, the bench while I'm making it. I've cut out a piece of chipboard to match the bottom of the scoop. I've screwed this base plate down and I'm going to route the edges to make them curved and smooth. Well, I've routed and shaped and sanded the baseboard so it's a nice smooth flowing shape. plug of the vent ready for the final finish coat and as I've shown you in previous videos I'm going to use Jip Rock jointing compound for the final surface because it's just so easy to sand. making an item like this you've got to think about which side you want to have the best finish. In the case of this scoop which is going to go into a bumper bar probably it's the inside that you'll see and that's where you want the best finish. 
So this is actually the finished item. You could make about five or six copies of this plaster and wood die before it would deteriorate. If you wanted to do more than that, then what you do is make another copy from fiberglass inside this to replace the original die and then you could make as many as you want. Well there's the original and there's my copy. There's not much difference. You can see that it wasn't hard to do. Why don't you have a go yourself?